People, this is Jesse live coming at you from Croatia. We're gonna interview Lissa. Here's our little one. We're gonna talk about uh, food prep, how to make raw living foods quick and easy in the kitchen. So we're just waiting for Lissa to come on soon. And I wanted to remind everyone, this is like it. Tomorrow the bundle ends. So if you're thinking about the bundle, grab it in our um, in our bio below. So yeah, here let me put it. Let's see if I can post it in a comment here. Let's see, did it go? Oh no, I can't get the link. I probably can't, I have to forget it, it won't post. <laughs> All right, so let's see, there we go. Forward to chatting with you and sharing some good tips, so here we go. Let's see. Yep. Hey, Lisa, how's it going? It's Excellent. Going good. Super How excited for this. This is great. So nice to be back in the bundle, and Lily's excited too. Oh, she's so precious. There's a raw vegan <laughs> baby yeah. right there. <laughs> Look at her. Hi, Lisa. Hello. <laughs> Hi. Hi, Randy. Hi. Aww. She's so precious. <laughs> yeah. So good to see you. Wow, it's been nice. crazy bundle time. So yeah, so glad to have you here. I want to check one thing real quick. Where is that? Uh, da, 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 da. Let's see if it works. Okay. Nice. I just got everything set up. This I haven't done a live in a long time, so it took a little while. So, yeah, I'm so happy to share with everybody some tips to make raw living foods easy because over the years so many clients say oh it takes so much time to prepare this and do that and actually if I go back in time back way back <laughs> you know when I did cooking and all that stuff I wasn't good at it and that actually took time because by the time you throw in a pizza in there and you're waiting for it to be done and all that it takes forever and this stuff is fast like for me I can make a mean salad in seven minutes. That's with cleanup and everything. So, but it takes time. It takes years to kind of yep. get, you know, into that and learn those tricks. So hopefully today we can share some nice uh, tips and tricks on that. And I just wanted to remind everyone the bundle is ending tomorrow. So this is, yeah, this is your time to get it. So go to our bios and click on the link and you'll see the bundle there. So yeah, let uh, Lisa go ahead and take it away and share some of your fastest tips that can help somebody. All right, thank you, Jesse. Yeah, everybody, if you wanna get the bundle, tomorrow it's over. So if you're looking for fast and easy recipes, there's a lot in there. there I mean, honestly, when you think about it, it doesn't matter what diet you're on, it can be more complex and it can be really easy. It really depends on what you make and what you want to have or whatever. But there are some tips that have helped us. Number one, planning exactly. is key. Planning is key. And I feel like so many people skip this step because they just, they're so used to just winging it and doing whatever, whenever, when they're hungry and they're like, oh, I'm hungry. And they don't think about like their future self. And <laughs> like, I want to have this for lunch tomorrow. So instead of, you know, just assuming you'll have it made, you have to plan. It's so critical to plan. So the number one tip would be planning, making sure that you know what you're going to have for breakfast, what you plan to have for lunch, what you plan to have for dinner. And then the second one is scheduling it in because most people like you can have a plan. A plan is like the first step. It's the most important. But if you don't schedule in the prep, when are you going to get it done? Right? Like if you're working right up to lunch and you don't have time, to chop a salad and blend a dressing, even if you don't have seven minutes or 10 minutes or whatever to make it, you got to plan it beforehand. Like, do you have to get up early in the morning to make your lunch? Do you have to go uh, skip an episode of Netflix to make your lunch for the next day? Like, or do you de need to do that's a it. double batch? And that's my third tip. Make double, make double everything because you, you don't have have to eat something different absolutely every single meal right it's it is about variety we should be eating more variety but if you are making say a dressing from somebody in the bundle and you really like that dressing blend a double batch and then pour 
half of it into a jar and save it for the next day. And then you don't have to do any blending the next day because you already have it for tomorrow. Or you could do that with dinner. Like you could blend the lunch dressing, double batch at lunch and then have dressing for dinner and then chop double. Nate and I used to do, when Nate was working on a farm uh, a couple of years ago, he would have to leave at 8 a.m. So I would get up with him around like 6.30 or something and I would prepare our breakfast smoothies, our lunch salads, and our dinner nice. all under an hour. It would take me 45 minutes to like 50 minutes to blend it all and do it all. So what I did was I just, I blended our smoothies really quick first, cause that takes like five minutes. And then I would blend our lunch dressings and I would blend enough for myself and him. Then I blended our dinner dressings enough for myself and him. And I would chop enough vegetables for both lunch and dinner for two people. So there was like four big salads. But it was easy because I was doing it all at once, right? So even though it might feel overwhelming, if you're doing it all at once, you only have to chop once. And it just, it's just more stuff to chop. That's really all it is. So I would do everything all in the morning. And then at lunchtime, I was so happy that I could just go in the fridge, get my salad, dump it in a bowl and pour the dressing. I was done. And then we did it same for dinner too. Dinner was already ready. Didn't have to worry about any prep. And it was so nice when we did it that way. But I had to do it in the morning. Like you have to do the thing in order to Absolutely. enjoy the thing. Yeah, right? it just <laughs> takes time to get used to that. And another one, I mean, like for breakfast, I love it. It's so easy. Just grab some fruit and you're done. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Exactly. Yeah. And that's something that Nate and I do a lot too. Snacks and breakfast. It's just like go in the kitchen and grab some fruit. And I know when I first started raw, like you're, you're changing your habits, right? So your cravings and what you want in the moment is just a reflection of what you've always been doing, right? So you're always going to default to what's easy, convenient, what your friends and family are doing, what tastes good, whatever. So you're going to default to that, but it takes a conscious change and like pattern disrupts in a way to help you to choose different things. So like what I like to say for some people is put your fruit bowl, like where you would go for chips, for example, or, or, or put something there or move those. And you know, like you have to pattern disrupt because when, then when you go automatically to get the potato chips, you see the fruit and you're like, Oh yeah. I'm trying to eat fruit instead, right? So then it helps you to pattern disrupt. And then the more often you choose the fruit, the easier it gets. And then you just naturally stop Absolutely. craving the other stuff. because you change Yeah, your or habits. if you use a dehydrator like chips and things like that, you make the raw versions and then you put them in little glass Tupperware and you have that there so you're ready to go. Yeah, just take some planning, yeah. Yeah, that's And important. food hall is really mm -hmm. important too, I mean, in yeah. the beginning, I used to just go like, you know, one day to the store and get some stuff and then come home and realize like my fruit wasn't ripe, the salad, I didn't know what I was going to make, you know, and then it took three, four, five days for the bananas and the mangoes and stuff to ripen up. So trick is for everyone, go out and get big, you know, amounts of food and spread it on your counter, get a nice shelf from Ikea or something and have that there and ready. So when you're hungry and you're craving a banana or a mango or whatever fruit it is, you're just, it's ready and ripe to go. And if it gets too ripe, you can throw it in the freezer. So there's so many tips. Um, yeah, that's a really good tip too. I like that. Um, Nate and I, every single time we go yeah. shopping, we buy green bananas. And then, so every time, like we go, I would say every three days we have like one big shop that we normally do on tuesdays and then we'll go again like maybe thursday or friday and sometimes we'll go again on sunday after our hike if we need to get a couple things right so we shop like two to three times a week and every yeah. single time we go we get green bananas it's like a you know it's a standard thing that's just habit now because if you get green bananas every time you go then they're like in a rotation right you've always got some really ripe ones some night like exactly. perfectly ripe ones you've got some that are like almost ready and then you have the green ones and so it's like a, a train and you just like eat the ripe ones and then you replace them with the green so you have a sea of of ripe bananas and that's so helpful especially like for example, during this bundle, we're doing these lives and I've been live like sometimes seven hours a day. 
And in between, it's like, I have to go, uh, uh, like I only have like 45 minutes for a live and then I have to like go to the bathroom and, and eat something. So I've been just like going in the kitchen and grabbing a banana, grabbing yeah. a mango. Like they're really easy to just chop it and eat it. And you've got fuel. You've got fuel so that you can sustain yourself. And people think like, oh, fuel, diet culture has us believing that we need to eat a handful of nuts and that's going to fill and satiate us. But the problem with the nuts is number one, it's super high calorie and it's very high fat. Yeah. So it's going to cause insulin issues. So then when you do eat your fruit, you feel sluggish and tired and, and fat isn't our body's preferred energy source. It will convert fat into energy if it has to. But you, if you switch to fruit and you eat fruit, it's fast digesting, it's, instant energy, it's hydrating. It just feels so much better to have fruit as a snack. So I encourage everybody to just replace all your Perfect. snacks with Perfect. fruit. Yeah, <laughs> and make sure you get those greens in there because I get a lot of people who are not eating greens or they eat so much fruit that they're getting out of balance. So it's very, very important to be balanced. You know, I've been doing this 25 years with no issues at all. I'm super happy. I just got done with a workout heavy workout, yeah, and ready for this uh, live with you. And, you know, so you, it takes time to work these things out. And if you learn from someone who's doing it longer than you, like I look at, you know, Doug Graham, Lou Corona, Fred Bishy, these guys have been doing it for 50 years or longer, some of them, you know, and they just, they got it down. And you look at them and they all, you know, they eat their greens, they eat their fruits, they eat a little bit of nuts and seeds and fats, and that's in balance. So that's really, really important to, you know, get that in. Like for me, I really love smoothie bowls. And also I'm big on, you know, I used to have smoothies and I would just chug them down. And you're just like, cause you're on the go and you got all these things going on and family and little one. And I would just chug it down, you know, and it's just like, oh, you don't even feel satiated because you just chugged it down. So I like smoothie bowls, you know, take a bunch of bananas, throw in a couple lettuces in the blender blend it all up, chop a few mangoes, shred another few bananas. I'm going to make a post about that, my thousand calorie breakfast, because after I do a huge workout, I need something that's going to keep me full for like four or five hours. So yeah, it's important. I love that you mentioned that about the greens, because again, I agree totally with you. I think people put way too much emphasis on the fruit because fruit's amazing. We're not saying it's not, we eat a lot of fruit. But it's like, we need to value vegetables and greens as much as we do fruit. They're, they both have their, their beauty, right? And, and they both have stuff to give us. And like Watermelon Lime says in the chat, chewing is so important. I love that. That's I awesome. learned that from really you cool. and Rennie, actually, years ago. Yeah, years ago at the UK Fruit Fest, um, me and Rennie were talking and she was talking about like we were talking about the importance of chewing and she said that's why i put chunks in my smoothie bowl so that it kind of like reminds her to yeah, chew because if there's a chunk you chew it right so it gets you to chew your smoothie by having chunks in it so again like if you're doing smoothies add some like chunk mango or chopped banana or whatever into it and or greens as well like you could add greens Nate likes to add microgreens to our smoothies. He'll just put like a couple handfuls of those in there. And it helps you to chew your smoothie so that you get, I mean, carbohydrates digest it with the amylase starts in our mouth. So we have to chew and I'm glad you brought that up. It's very important. And people don't have enough time to chew their food. And I've, I made, I did one live where I told people, I was like, challenge yourself to chew one bite 80 times. Right, like most, most of us are like, you know, when we're chewing our food well, we're not doing 80 every time. But I challenge people to do 80 because it's like a lot more than you would even normally chew. But to really teach you about how it feels, how it's supposed to feel in your mouth before you swallow. And people are like, I can't even like, I can't believe how much it boils down when it boils down when you chew it properly, when you chew it thoroughly. And I use the analogy of two jars, right? Like if you had one jar and you put big rocks in it, you can only fit so much into that jar. But if you have another jar and you put sand into it, you can fill that jar really nice, right? But when we're swallowing big chunks, like if we're talking to friends and we're eating, we're like not focused on chewing. 
and then it causes gas and bloating and and people wonder why they have extra gas and bloating it's like well maybe you just didn't chew yeah, right <laughs> exactly that's so important yeah chewing and that's the thing too if you want to really get your bang for your buck with the food you're eating you want to you know sit at the table and you want to be at a relaxed state write all the stuff that's bothering you down on your desk leave it behind and just close your eyes pray meditate and be one with your food and i really start to like i don't open my eyes until i start to smell it and i'm really getting hungry and when you're salivating and you feel so hungry and connected with your bowl of stuff like that smoothie bowl in the morning you're getting about 25 percent more value out of it and you're absorbing it better it's going into your body better this is important so many people like so on the rush or eating in front of their computers all the time that's why i have like a table and the standing desk away from the kitchen because I don't want to mix that anymore. I used to, you know, this thing takes time to learn all these hacks and lifestyle tips, but the more you learn it, the farther it's going to take you. Yeah, that's so true. So true. We got to really like focus down on the moment and we're, it's really, I found this really interesting about being a human is that we like to live in the moment, but we don't actually live in the moment, right? Like we, we choose the fast food because in the moment we're hungry, but we don't actually live in the moment necessarily, right? Like we're not slowing down. We're not, like you said, praying, practicing gratitude over our food. And that's another thing that people do often is they eat rushed or they eat stressed. And if, you, if you're stressed out and you're hungry, it's, it's really important to find that space, like calm down, <laughs> do some meditations before you eat so that you can bring your body into a state of peace. And I was talking about this on, a, on another live that people who eat in a stressed out state can actually get food allergies because their body is like react, thinks that it's the food that's causing the stress. And that's how food allergies can become for some people. So it, it can be um, trauma-based for uh, food sensitivities. It's also obviously microbiome related and all that other stuff, right? But, but for some people, eating in a state of stress can actually eventually cause trauma and food intolerances. Like I used a long, long, long time ago, I had a homeopathic doctor who, was, who taught me about this and she brought up this really interesting study uh, that they did on people with split personality disorder and people who are like one personality, we'll say Sarah, Sarah had a trauma to do with peanuts. And every time she's around, when, she, when this person is Sarah, if she's around peanuts, she has a severe reaction to them. But when she's Claudette or whoever else she is, she can eat peanuts just fine and have no problems. So the study, I can't even remember where it is. I don't have a link, but it was so fascinating to learn that the body was not reacting necessarily. It was the mind that was reacting based on trauma. So they discovered that and I was like, whoa, that's like next level. <laughs> so there was women, for example, there was another study done with women who are in abusive relationships with their partners. And if they're like making dinner yeah. for them and you know how people eat the same thing every night, like wheat, chicken, egg, whatever like you know the standard stuff and then they get an allergy test and they're allergic to all the things that they eat every night because every night when their partner comes home from work they're in a fear state a state of fight or flight because they're like how is this person going to react to me i don't know uh, uh, right and then they have dinner ready and they're eating the same stuff that they always eat and suddenly they have all these health issues and they don't understand why how am i allergic to all these things but it's because you're constantly eating in a state of stress and a state of fight or flight. So that's why it's so important to like get out of the stressful situations or practice mindfulness and really calm the body down and let the body know that it's safe to eat these foods. That's, so yeah, that's so I just important. had to share that's that. That's so important. <laughs> so I mean, when I used to work for Apple and sales and stuff, I couldn't deal with all that stress there. So I would go out in the back, open the door. I would be in the sun. I would have my little packed salad and, uh, snack or whatever it is all raw vegan back then also but you know I just I wanted to get away from all the busyness and out of my little own space and it's peaceful you know so we gotta find peace every day no matter how stressful the situation is 
We've got to find a way to get some peace and eventually get out of all the situations that are really bringing us down because, you know, we only got this one life and we want to have a healthy life and that just wears us out. Stress, crazy situations, of course, not eating right, uh, not exercising, all those things. We've got to find that balance. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and not eating enough too, because like when you're stressed out on the go, you can't eat. You're like doing your body a disservice because you're missing nutrients, you're missing calories, you're missing a lot of stuff. So finding ways to come back. And honestly, like when, when it comes to the time management and the fast food prep and all of that stuff that we were talking about earlier, it really boils down to choosing it and, and actually coming to yourself, back to yourself into the present moment. So you can make these choices. So you can quickly make the salad. Like if, you, we, if we don't find the time and make the time, because most people have the time, let's be honest. <laughs> most people have the time to do things. They yeah. just have to rearrange priorities and make it important to them. Because a lot of people will say, it, my health is important to me, but they don't make the time for it. When we were in um, Mexico, we were talking to one of the servers at the um, resort and we got on the topic of time management. And it was really interesting that he was saying, I have a friend who had a job that was only 10 minutes away from where he lived. And he complained all the time that he had no time none whatsoever he couldn't do this and he couldn't do that he had no time he only had a 10 minute commute to his job he lost his job and he got a new job that was an hour drive away so it was an hour drive and then an hour back this person found the time <laughs> even though he said he had no time in his life with a 10 minute commute somehow he yeah. found the time for a one hour commute but he had the time, he just was using it differently. And then when his priorities changed, suddenly the time became, right? So it really is on your priorities. It's what you want for your life. And if you want help, you have to make time for it. You have to schedule it in, you have to plan. And then the more you do it, the easier exactly. it gets. And then it's just like instant, like you wake up, you make a smoothie and you're yeah, good to go. Yeah, time and taste buds change. I mean, this is, all kinds of topics we're diving into, but as far as making it fast, you know, I mean, you can also make a quick salad. You can grab a couple cucumbers, a couple tomatoes, a head of lettuce, and an avocado, and just eat it with your hands, and you're good to go. That's like, uh, you know, that's fast food there. Of course, banana is the fastest. It's faster than McDonald's. <laughs> just peel and eat if it's nice and ripe. So, yeah, it just takes time. I just want to encourage everyone to take time and your health is your greatest wealth. I get people writing me, I'm coaching with people every day and they have like almost no health left. And they're like, oh, if I only would have found you sooner, if I only would have done this or I, you know, they can't walk anymore, or whatever those big problems are, they would be so grateful just to have normal again. And I'm so happy that I have no pain, no problems anymore. I was on the, you know, deathbed and had a life or death situation where I decided I'm either going to you know, get into health, or I'm gonna go, you know, and I didn't have choices. So sometimes life puts you in that direction. I'm so grateful, because now I'm taking each day as the best of my life and making it really count. I'm doing all the things I love, all the situations and things I don't like anymore. I get out of that. I change that with our mind. We can have anything we can have be and do anything we want in this world. So I just want to encourage everybody to you know not give up as long as we don't give up there's always a chance to get better and happier so yeah with that we should dive into some more tips do you like with your food prep do you like shred a bunch of carrots and things like that and put them in vacuum bags or something and or what do you do yes so um sometimes we we do do that sometimes mostly for traveling we will chop lettuce and we have the vacuum seal bags which are excellent they're so uh, uh, great for um prep and food prep and stuff we do like to buy big bags of already pre-shredded cabbage it makes it so much easier because you just go in the in the fridge and you grab a handful and you throw it in your salad so it makes it really easy to get pre-shredded and pre-graded stuff like if people don't have time i would rather see people buy the pre-shredded pre-spiralized pre-washed lettuce like get that if it's going to help you to eat more 
raw food, right? Like if it's going to get you to eat that big salad, get that stuff. It's really easy. I find um, like cherry yes. tomatoes are really easy because you don't even have to chop them. You just throw them in your salad. Um, like you said, uh, cucumber is really great. Um, avocado is such a great one on the go. Like if you're on the go and you need something fast, instead of going through the drive through go to the grocery store. Nate actually in the bundle, he's got his kitchen essentials course where he goes over everything that we take in our truck. So we have this big bin and we've got like bowls and forks and a knife and a cutting board. We've got rags and water, like every, the essentials, the stuff that we need. So if we are on the go and we're hungry, like one day um, we were getting our oil changed for the truck. And for some reason they had our truck for like two or three hours and we're waiting. We're like, what's going on? And they're like, ah, sorry, blah, blah, blah. So we had expected to only be there for like maybe a half hour and then we were going to come home and make lunch. But we were there for like three hours and we're hungry. And we're like, ah, so after we got the truck back, we just went right to the grocery store. And we are so grateful that we have our stuff in our vehicle that we can use. And it doesn't take up a lot of space. I mean, like a couple bowls, right? Um, knife cutting board. And we went to the grocery store. We got a head of lettuce tomatoes, uh, mangoes were on sale. So we got a couple mangoes, avocado, we got a bunch of cilantro and a red onion and all together to make two big giant salads, it costs nice. just over $8. So we just, oh, we're on the tailgate in the parking lot. We just chopped our lettuce. Yeah. It took like, like you said, like seven, 10 minutes, whatever. We just squeezed the avocado on have the mango as the sweet we had we bought a lime to squeeze on our salad you know like that's uh, like what 25 cents <laughs> for a light lime and then yeah so it was really easy to do but we choose ingredients that are easy to prep and uh yeah that you brought up the fact that we um might prep early or beforehand so yeah um sometimes nate will run um carrots in the food processor carrots and cabbage um work really well and then we just put them in a vacuum seal bag and then we have them so we can just grab and dump in a salad that's really easy um another food prep thing that we we do that really works well is okay. vacuum sealing our dressings so we can make multiple dressings and then we vacuum exactly. seal them so there's exactly. no oxidation that happens and it lasts a lot longer so that's another that's tip perfect. too. yeah that's really important yeah vacuum blending and sealing your bags is really important. That's another thing that took our smoothies on the next level. Like, I don't know, three, four years ago, we got into vacuum blending and it just makes a huge difference. Yeah. Yeah, huge difference. Not only like when you start vacuum blending, you're like, why have I not been doing this? <laughs> it's like next level stuff. Cause not only does it taste better, it looks better. It's got better texture. There's more nutrition and it lasts longer. It's like, why would you not want to do vacuum blending? So that's another tip too. Uh, another tip too, um, we do for food prep. So Nate and I, as you might know, we go to yep, LA yep. Uh, every couple months with John Kohler. So we like get in our truck and we drive to LA because we, we, he gets starts for his garden and we go to the markets and the wholesale markets. So what we like to do is we'll go to the wholesale markets and we'll buy cases of stuff that we could freeze for things like Chris Kendall's stew, for example. One time we went, we got a case of celery. It was organic celery, 36 celeries for 18 bucks. And we split, I know we split it with John. And all I did, I stood at the counter that one day and I chopped all of the celery. So we have bags of frozen celery. So if we're making, um, one of my raw soups or Chris Kendall's stew or whatever. I just grab a handful out of there and use it. And we do the same thing for sun chokes, sun especially chokes. for so stuff good. when it's like out of season. So sun chokes are amazing and they're, they've become a staple in our diet, but you can't yeah, get them. We like got them in our seven garden. Out Otherwise here, we can't right? find them they're anywhere. Seasonal. They're not even available period. So yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. wow. Lucky you. Yeah, I know. It's so important. Like just a little bit. I mean, we would like to like have more time, but level. you know, raising our little one and so much coaching people are writing me day in, day out, like, you know, almost a hundred people a day with all these health challenges and lifestyle problems. And it's just hard to keep up with everything. So yeah, we do our best. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So we like to buy things that are 
that might be going out of season and we get lots of them. Like last time we went to LA, it was like right at the end Perfect. of sunchoke season. And there's one farm in LA that sells like the best sunchokes and they're organic. So they're like awesome. <clears throat> I bought 30 pounds <laughs> of sunchokes, three bags of 10 pounds. And it, it yes, it costs a lot, but we have sun chokes now in our freezer. What I do is I chop them up into cubes yep. and I marinate them in like lemon juice, garlic, herb, whatever. And I marinate them in this and I put them on a freezer tray and I just freeze them. And then with it, then they go into freezer bags or containers or whatever. And we've got sun chokes for the rest of the summer and we can add them to our raw soups, our raw chilies. Um, we even sometimes like, we'll take a handful and dehydrate for like an hour and we put them on our salads. So we have sun chokes yeah. that we froze ourselves so they haven't been blanched or heat processed or whatever. And yeah, it's such an awesome way. Another way to save money and save time too is like in the summer, if you have like a berry picking farm or a fruit farm that you can go to and like a you pick, make a, a day adventure of it and go and pick blueberries, pick uh, strawberries or peaches or apples or whatever, and then come home and chop everything and freeze it. So you have, I mean, obviously freeze it, yeah. the apple or the peaches and stuff when they're ripe, <laughs> you don't do that when they're not ripe, but berries and everything, then you have easy berries that you can just grab and throw into a smoothie. So it makes it faster when you do the prep beforehand. But again, it boils yeah. down planning. to yeah. planning. And having the mindset, <laughs> it's like, you know, what is more important? Is it more important to, you know, make your own food, know what you're eating, and feel that high vibe and just so good. I mean, you know, 25 years in, I feel like I just started. I'm so happy on this path and it still gets better and better because I keep fine tuning, dialing in my lifestyle and everything. Uh, you know, it's so good. Wow, my phone says I got five minutes before it wants to shut. So I got to fig figure out um, no. how to, uh, I mean, if I guess if it cuts out, I'll just go back. I think we won't lose it. I think it might cut out for a second and I have to go in and uh, say that, no, I don't want uh, Instagram to be shut off. Yeah, see, I have the technology working for me. I have all the devices that when 6 p.m. comes, as if it's not bundle time or I'm promoting something, I'm just not online. That's like my cutoff time. It's so important because if you get a good night's sleep, then you're going to make healthy choices the next day and you'll have all the energy to wake up early, do your food prep, and, you know, get going on things. So it's important. Yeah. And just follow both of us if you want more tips and tricks. We want to just keep helping people get healthier and happier. That's my just biggest mission. I've been giving a, given a second chance on life, and I just want to help as many people as I can. And there's been a few comments and things. So if someone has some big thing, please uh, message me. It's hard to get to all the comments during these uh, talks. But, yeah. Uh, I to see. Uh, well, I, I want to say, I want to say we should honor your time and if it cuts off, it cuts off and that's cool. Like we shared a lot here today and I just want to end with you guys got to get the bundle because yeah. it's over tomorrow. So go give Jesse a follow. He's the whole lifestyle. And if you click at the very top, where it has our names, you can go to his Instagram, give him a follow and then click the link in his bio okay. and go get the bundle because it's going to give you a plethora of information and recipes. You get my wraps book, you get their autopilot, your robbing yeah. and success course. You're getting so much. You're getting 40 brand new things for 50 bucks valued at over $1,800. So Click the link in our yeah, bios and get it now before it's gone. the kind of resource I wish I had in the beginning when I went. I mean, that would have made my journey so much better. And also for people who've been doing raw food out there, if they think that they don't need this, your hand wraps book was excellent. Rainy just made me a couple days ago one of those wraps, <laughs> and I'm like eating it. I'm like, oh, it's so, oh, it's something so different. It's so good. It like sparks, like gave me more sparks and like fireworks in my life because I'm used to the same old thing make this quick recipe that because we don't have time and it's nice to have you know something that spices up your relationship with your food and have different types of things and there's so many beautiful recipes to try in there and if you're getting all these varieties of different things in there of course the flax is so important the chia you know getting in those omega-3s a lot of people are overdoing avocados and you know other 
nuts and seeds and they're you know getting too high omega sixes and this causes all kinds of problems so it's so important to try new things and i mean this is such a great offer and i really don't mind if you don't want to buy it that's fine we're not here to push anything but honestly this is the resource you would have made my day with that if i had that in the beginning because there was nothing in the beginning i was just like making super simple salads just you know eating fruit plain they didn't have all this beautiful stuff now you can go to the stores and they have all this variety of stuff and you know tropical fruits that they didn't have back in the day it's really a fun time to be on this and you know our health is number one so i wanted to ask you how did you come up with that idea for your name what a good name for your book <laughs> and Actually, it was um name. another girl hand salad yeah so another girl girl in the bundle her name's angelica she's got the yin yoga course she lives like just maybe a mile away from us here in las vegas and we went um hiking and we one day it was like a year and a half ago and we made her a burger I I and it was big it. it was like massive it. and she's like i'm eating a hand salad <laughs> yeah she's like i'm eating a hand salad and so it stuck and we just we always joked like burgers or hand salads and then when i was making the wrap book i'm like i'm gonna name it hand salads because they're so yeah. big you can actually Perfect. it's like eating that's a salad. such a good name and i just <laughs> i mean your recipes and everything are next level i mean people really need to see more advanced the younger generation on that is just getting better and better because everyone is trying new things and coming up with new recipes and it doesn't have to be boring and some people just say like after a few years they're like, oh i'm so bored with everything and you know they're like oh you just eat salads and you know fruits and they think it's cold you know especially in the oh no did we lose her again like I said, I just had to, I just had to yes. press that okay. I just had to press that button and say that I don't want to end my internet connection for the night. See, that's the thing. Use the technology in okay. your favor. It's either we use the technology or it uses us. And most people online are getting used by it. Mm -hmm. I mean, staying up until one, two in the morning. I have so many clients who do that, and nothing works for them. You know, the raw food is not working. They can't have fitness. Nothing seems to be working because they're going completely against nature's uh, way. And the, you know, the birds and the cats that we have, they all go to bed as soon as it gets dark. Well, the cats actually are opposite, <laughs> but the, the birds go to bed and they're like looking for their little place. I see the birds in the trees, you know, we do an evening walk and watch the sunset. We try to live as natural as possible. And it makes a huge, huge difference. But yeah, back to your, Hand salad is so good. And I wanted to also say that everyone tomorrow, I'm going to interview Nate and we're going to go into all these cool kitchen tools and essentials to make it even more fun. And I wish I had a way to do this out of the kitchen, but we have one of those new um, Kuvings professional vacuum blenders. And basically you just press a button, it opens up, you throw in your smoothie container, it vacuums it out in like nine seconds and you walk away do other things, clean up the kitchen, and come back and the smoothie's done. So things are getting better and better. And then, of course, they have like the Nama juicer, which is, you know, batch juicing. You can throw all this big amount of stuff. We don't have one, unfortunately. You can't get them here. But, uh, you know, you just throw in this big batch of stuff, and you walk away, do the cleanup or something else, and you come back, and boom, you got tons of juice. You know, it's getting simpler. So, yeah. Easy ways to get people to eat healthier, yeah. but again, people have to want it. They have to do the things, they have to use the tools, they have to plan the day, and they have to make it happen. Because if you don't, even though there's like easy ways to do stuff, if you don't do the thing, then it's not helpful. And I know a lot of people, I'm, myself included. I mean, I'm not, I'm not exempt from this, <laughs> but. A lot of people will buy things and then never use them or they'll buy things and read it. Like I buy books and I'll read them, but I don't implement yeah. what I learn in the book. And if you don't implement it into your life, your life isn't going to change. You can read all the books. You can um, read all the recipes. You can watch all the videos, but if you don't do it in your life, then your Absolutely. life isn't going to change. That's so big. I mean, people, I used to do like one book a week, like audio book, which is really cool because you can, you know, listen and work out and stuff. And it's great. 
But if you get all that knowledge in your head and you're not implementing, it's like, what good is it? Maybe you get one thing out of there that changed your life is good. But so I listen to audiobooks like three times in a row now. And it's like the first, first time I listened to it, I got, you know, like four or five tips. And then again, four or five tips. And on the third time, I'm like, whoa, it's like a whole, whole new book again. And like implementing this stuff. Because, I mean, our beautiful bodies, these are our temples. We're made. I mean, it's our birthright to be healthy and happy like our little one. No aches, no pains. Talk about being in the moment. She's so in the moment. It's so beautiful to watch. I could just watch her all day. And she plays that. She's pouring water from one container to the other and completely in this bliss. And I remember that when I was little before, you know, getting paralyzed and everything. I, that, that's that bliss. And we need to find that again. So I also wanted to encourage people it's not just about the food. It's the whole lifestyle. When you create your, you know, yummy recipes, when you learn raw vegan food, when you go hiking and you find the fitness you love and you start going to bed early. I mean, people think it's a big chore and it's hard, all this stuff to go to bed early, but isn't your health worth it? Isn't it worth it to skip having some major, you know, dis-ease and pain in the body? I know for me it was. I had excruciating 24-7 pain like someone was stabbing me and i had zero energy you know i had to sleep like 11 12 hours at night and i was dark thoughts and depressed and everything and i thought you know what what's the point of living here and then i got that luckily reversed through this beautiful lifestyle and now i'm really committed to that and and focusing on you know making it better and better and better and seeing how far we can take this i mean i just love my life now but not before. Before, I was like, I hate this. Like, I actually wanted to jump off, a, push the wheelchair off a hospital building and give up, you know? So that's why I tell everyone, I just wanted to say one thing is, you know, um, every problem has multiple solutions. So there's always a solution. And if you have a health challenge, get multiple opinions. Don't just go to one doctor or one specialist and they say, oh, there's nothing that you can do or you have to get this removed or cut out, or you got to take this and that. There's always multiple solutions. And the other one is, you know, keep positive and just never, ever, ever give up. And then eventually you win. It's so beautiful. We've been given all these gifts. There's so much stuff we can do in life. We just got to break free and start following our heart and doing what we love. And just magic happens. It's just beautiful. It really, yeah. really is. Yeah. Oh, I love that you shared that. That's awesome. So amazing. And somebody in the chat was asking any tips for beginners because when you have like you, you get the bundle, for example, everybody get the bundle, just get it now. <laughs> and it might seem like there's a lot, but you can go through one at a time and whatever, but yeah. get it now because it's over tomorrow. But when you get a recipe book or when you start out anything, it's going to feel overwhelming, like learning a new language is overwhelming the only reason it feels overwhelming or intimidating or too much is because you need to to come down to one thing at a time so when you read a recipe just read the ingredient list and just get the ingredients and then when you see the creation read through the creation be like oh i have to start this at this time or i have to do this and it's like step by step the the overwhelm comes when we look at it from afar but the focus and the release of the intimidation is when we read one line at a time. You just read li one line and be like, okay, that's what I need to do. Or when you, when you start going raw, you're like, ah, I need to know everything all at once, or I have to be 100% raw right now, right, everything, right? But it's not about that. We have to boil it down to one day at a time, one line at a time, one moment at a time. And that really brings us into the present too. I love how you're talking about playing with the water and I was immediately thinking about food prep and right like when she's playing with the water she's in the zone in the moment really just loving the water and how it flows and we can do that as adults we can find our inner child and we can do that when we're doing food prep and I do that often I'll just be like chopping and I'll just be like looking at the food and how it chops and how it feels and what it looks like and the colors. And I find Absolutely. a way to love the process because if you, it's like that meme where the two people are on the same bus 
and one guy's looking out that window and it's like cloudy and scary, but they're on the same bus. And the other guy's looking out the other window and it's sunshiny blue skies. And it's like, you have, your mind is powerful and you can choose to enjoy the food prep or you can choose to make yeah, it a chore. Absolutely, it's that's a good one. And another one for beginners, which is really important. We're like the few out there you know, everyone who's getting in this movement, it's not everywhere. So the thing is, the first thing is to, you know, ask yourself, why are you doing this? What do you want to do with this? And get in a community right away, like follow people on Instagram who are doing it, who are advanced and doing it a long term, find more friends in your area. Even if there's nobody around, you'll be surprised you're going to find somebody. Like sometimes we go to the farmer's market, and there's someone doing that. And we're like, what we didn't know you were there and we were here all these years and you know so find people on the same path in society i mean it's like it, we're in a matrix there's everything is backwards and upside down and really really messed up so we got to find people who are do doing the same thing or the stuff that we love and enjoy that's why people you know in school they taught us like find a hobby that you like and then you get groups and on the weekends you have the hobbies that you do with your friends together. So find people who are passionate about, you know, raw living foods and, uh, and want to be healthy. Or if, you know, someone wants to lose weight, follow those people who want to lose weight or gain weight or, you know, heal this or that. And yeah, there's been some comments about like uh, pain and having issues. So please, it's uh, send me messages. If you need help and support, I would love to help you get uh, to that happy state. It just takes, you know, a really powerful mindset to just say, yeah, I'm going to try this. And, you know, for me, I wasn't sold overnight. I had to, you know, try it for myself. And, you know, when I read uh, David Wolf's book back in the day, it really, uh, the Sun Food, uh, what was it? Nature, Nature's First Law, actually, that was the first one, Nature's <laughs> First Law. They had some really good points in there, and it just switched my mind on. And then I thought, okay, this makes sense. You know, all the animals are eating raw living foods. And uh, that just makes sense to me. And something shattered in my, my way of thinking shattered in my brain. And I thought, wow, this really must be something special. But then as I'm doing it, I say, I got to go meet this guy and see how he feels. And he had that glowing eyes, the skin glowing, the, the energy. You could just walk by him and you would feel this wave of energy. You go like, oh, if it resonates with you, then do it. If it doesn't, be happy and do whatever you want to do. This is not like we're trying to get people to do this. But for me, it was life and death situation. And I'm happy I did. But anyway, so, you know, find those people that do that. And so I did a three month experiment. And you know, I'm not saying that people have to go all raw overnight. And actually, people should do it slowly, unless they have a life and death situation where they have to get support and work on that. But the trick is to go slow, be kind and loving on yourself. Don't push yourself too much. We can be our most worst critic and we can beat ourselves up. Like if I'm doing my weights and I can't get that last set in, I'm going to say, okay, muscles, that's good enough for today. You did your best. You know, you want to take a minute break and try again. No, it won't work. Okay. I love you muscles. I'm going to hit you the day after tomorrow again. And we'll try that again, you know, be loving. But if you go and push yourself, I did that. I don't know, four or five months ago, I was like watching all these other guys with bigger dumbbells. So I wanted to increase it. Next, thing you know, I did it. I'm like, wow, I'm getting stronger. It works. All of a sudden, oh, I don't feel so good. Put down the weights and I was sore for a day, you know, and then when I went back to do my weights again, I like couldn't do it and I had to skip two or three days. And then I had to downsize my weight that I was lifting. And I'm like, Oh, that's a bomber. But then I kept it positive And I said, Okay, I'll get back to that. And you know, today, I'm back to that level again. <laughs> so you know, we got to love ourselves, we got to love this life, we have this one body, it's the only place we have to live in this temple in your temple and everyone's out there, who's listening, it's beautiful. And, you know, love all of it. I loved everything with my body. I mean, it's not perfect. It might never be perfect. But what is perfect? It's like to be happy, to be healthy, yeah. and to help others. That's all I need in this world. I don't need anything else. I don't even have a car, you know. So it's just like, you do what you love, you help people. And then the reward from that inside is so deep and fulfilling. It's like you won the lottery. Yeah. It is. It is. I know. I love that you touched on, on perfection because perfection 
is comparison because you're always comparing it to something else. Is this perfect? Is that perfect? Where's the level? Where's the end? And I really love um, the whole idea that they call it a yoga yeah. practice, yeah. not a yoga perfect. Yeah. Or they call it a piano practice and not a piano perfect because there's no perfect. There's no level of like suddenly you've made it and you never have to do it again because you're like, you're whatever, right? It's always a constant. Even the masters Absolutely. are still practicing, right? It, there's no perfect. There's no level of that. So in, in diet, in exercise, in going to bed early, all of that is just a practice. It's a daily practice and you just practice you go as far as you're comfortable in that moment, because as you say, the next day you get better, you get stronger, you learn more, you, and you work with your body instead of against it, because we're so focused on being perfect and knowing it all, and like none of us Absolutely. know it all. <laughs> we're all here learning, trying to help others to embrace that aspect of themselves and to just go slow, start with just today, start with one recipe, start with one line of the recipe just go slow slow down <laughs> it's like we, this world is too fast absolutely. and we need absolutely. to learn and how another to thing with down. all these recipes if you don't find all the ingredients like where we are it's tough to build all that we just improvise or if you have like you're doing the recipe and there's no bell pepper what are you going to do say oh i'm not going to do this recipe you just skip the bell pepper and make it anyway and then it's like your own version of that recipe and it's still going to taste good even if you miss two or three ingredients it doesn't have to be that perfect and also if it doesn't come out looking like the picture on there you got to remember someone who made that picture has been doing this for years and years and it takes time even if it doesn't look perfect it doesn't matter and you know so that's the thing even sometimes we make a recipe and it doesn't taste good so then i have to go and make another sauce to pour on top of it and i'm like oh this recipe's done Wait, we made another sauce and poured it on and then you eat and you're like, wow, this tastes even better, you know? So you just have to enjoy things and just, I mean, that's like, that, my motto has been ever since I got on this path and it started working like within three months, I just felt happy and I'm like, be happy. And that's my thing. I changed all my names to just like be happy, you know, cause that's number one. At the end of the day, what do we want? We want to be happy. Yeah. yeah. That's so true. Yep. And you don't have to be a raw vegan to enjoy the contents in the ultimate raw Absolutely. vegan bundle that ends tomorrow. <laughs> so yeah, link is in our bios, you guys. It's, it's such an amazing deal. You're getting over $1,800 worth of brand new content. So Jesse and Rennie created their new content for the bundle. I created my new hand salads ebook and the ebook I wrote with Chef AJ. That's in there too. Everybody contributed something brand new to this bundle. And like I said, worth eight, over $1,800, but you only pay $50 for everything, but it ends tomorrow. So go to the link in our bio and get it. And, like, and this whole with the overwhelm, just download it all and then open one book a week. Open a book, dive in, read the lines, find a recipe that you wanna make, and then do that. And then next week, open a new one. At least you have them all downloaded on your computer and you can open them whenever you want. You're not expected to read everything in a week. <laughs> like, just take your time and then you'll have the resources to learn Absolutely. more every day. Good and, get tip. and also, you know, back it up, put it on the hard drive, put it on thumb drives and keep it because after a year, you can't download it anymore. So you've got a whole year to download it and there's a certain amount of times you can download it. So you want to definitely store that and keep it. I mean, one time I went traveling and I, got my computer stolen in Ecuador. And I've been so sad, you know, when that happened, because I lost, I didn't care about the computer because I can get a new one, but all the photos, all the memories, all the stuff I was working on on my book that I still didn't come out with back in the day. And cause I lost it, you know? So the thing is back up your stuff, even not just the bundle, but your most prized music, your photos, all your stuff, put them on a couple hard drives and place them in the houses and in safe places. And if your health burns down, you know, you might want to put it into some somewhere else in case, you know, you never know. So I think that's really important. Yeah. So we've got two quick questions in the chat. Are there raw food salad dressings too? And can I just download Absolutely. what I want? Yes, you can download anything you want. 
list. I recommend downloading it all because each and every single person has value to give and has amazing recipes. Like Nate and I, we made almost 50 recipes from the bundle over a two week period because we're doing the what we ate from the bundle videos. And every single person has something beautiful to give. So I recommend downloading it all. It's only 355 megabytes. Like it's less than half a gig of space. So you can put it on Google Drive or Dropbox or USB stick or whatever. But you don't have to download everything. I recommend yeah, it because you might as absolutely. well. And even if you like just one or two know. books, that's already, you're already getting your value there. Hey, little baby. Yeah. yeah. I... Come, Come here. Lily. Come say hi to everybody. Oh, Oh, I know. Say hi. <laughs> she wants to be with Mama. Yeah. Yeah. I'm so proud of her. Already potty oh, trained and doing so well. Gonna be two this summer. <laughs> look, look at her, little raw vegan She's baby. Big girl, hi. So hi. Hi. Hi, everybody. <laughs> A little shy. She talks so. She says so many things and she so just repeats friendly. many phrases. We say something and she repeats <laughs> after us, like yeah. right away. So cute. <laughs> oh, she, she's learning Thank from you. the best. Me too. That's we're learning true. from you. I mean, we're all learning from each other. It's just beautiful that I'm so happy and, you know, to be in this bundle with you guys again. It's just a beautiful thing and I'm going to miss it once the lives are over and everything. But definitely everyone follow our pages so we can you know, stay in touch and we're going to be posting more videos of our little one and tips and everything. So we want to just keep people healthy and happy and, you know, follow along the stuff that resonates with you and what doesn't, don't do that part. You know, it's simple. Yeah. Keep it simple. Yeah, totally. Well, thank you, Jesse. This has been an amazing live. I'm glad that you didn't yeah. get kicked off the internet, <laughs> but it's time for you to do your bedtime routine and, and enjoy your family time. Do you say hi to Ned and Nate, and I just want to remind everyone tomorrow at the same time, 9 a.m. PST and uh, 6 p.m. Uh, 6 p.m. in uh, Europe, I'm going to interview Nate and talk about the kitchen essentials and things that you can make your food better and faster again and all the cool things. I know Nate's got all these good stuff and that book is in the bundle too. So if anyone has any questions about the bundle, message me or you need health uh, tips and tricks, message me, follow me for more. I'm going to be posting more uh, videos and things as soon as this bundle's over. So I love you guys all. Keep doing your best. Keep happy and healthy. Keep moving forward. This is a beautiful journey we're on and let's all share together, make this world a better place. All right, Rita. Thank you. You Oh, too, you and me awesome, are great. Jesse. I'm so glad we met you and uh, at the UK Fruit Fest. And yeah, I miss Vegas and everything. And when we come down that way, we got to definitely hang out. Or if you guys come this way, back to Europe sometime, come stop by and see us. We will, we will for sure. Aw. All right. Have a yeah, great evening, the bundle, and everybody. Go grab the bundle. <laughs> yeah, once it's, the deadline's off, it's cut off. And I got last year, there was so many people messaging me wanting the bundle and that's it. it once it's gone that's it there's the the timer actually is automatic right so it cuts everything off so yeah enjoy guys all right lots of peace and love signing out from croatia see right. you soon okay, bye bye, bye. <laughs> and now yeah